Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with meteorologist Mark Dixon. All right, and here in Connecticut, of course, it's been all about the snow and going forward, it's going to be all about the below average temperatures. More on that in just a moment, but for the greater Hartford area, at Windsor Locks, Bradley International, where the official records are kept, here's a breakdown for winter storm Wayne. 2.7 inches prior to midnight yesterday, then 4.9 since midnight today, bringing our total for the storm up to 7.6 inches. Now, just to point out, for today, the fourth day of March, we came one-tenth of an inch away uh, from tying the record for a daily snowfall uh, from 1955. So, uh, also in case you're wondering, for the season to date, we're up to 38.9 inches. So, not too off, far, far, far off from uh, from normal. All right, here in the five o'clock hour, we've got temperatures that have now dipped into the upper 20s below freezing in the Northwest Hills, 36 Hartford and Meriden, 38, 39, 40 right now along the Connecticut shoreline. So temperatures did peak between 35 and 40, but they're going to be heading in the downward direction. We will not see temperatures this warm until probably next weekend. So we've got this northwesterly wind funneling that chillier air into the state and also making it feel even colder. So while we have temperatures well above freezing along the shoreline, it feels below freezing uh, because of that wind feels like 28 in Hartford and Willamette. 22 Torrington feels like 17 right now to expose skin in Salisbury. So our I can view from Hartford showing the sun on its way down a beautiful afternoon, certainly across the state, allowing with that sunshine and those mild temperatures for a lot of melting to take place. And there's our view from New Haven looking skyward, mainly clear. And we do expect a mainly clear sky tonight. And as those temperatures drop again, any of that lingering moisture that melted today, uh, we're going to look for that to refreeze. So uh, especially on untreated surfaces could become rather slick later on tonight. So pretty quiet throughout the Northeast. Again, that northwesterly wind will funnel even colder air into Connecticut. So uh, the uh, temperature uh, forecast over the coming days, again, does not keep us, uh, does not get us above freezing, above 32 until perhaps uh, late in the week and over the weekend. So here's future cast tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., showing a lot of sunshine, then some clouds develop through the afternoon, and just a chance for a few flurries, I think, in northwestern Connecticut. Uh, no meaningful accumulation expected from those. Uh, and temperatures overnight, we're going to be dropping to the low and mid-teens inland, mid and upper teens along the shoreline to start our Tuesday. That's the air temperature. You factor in the wind, wind chill values tomorrow morning going down into the single digit. So it's going to be a, a brutal combination of cold and wind early tomorrow morning. Then by the afternoon, temperatures topping out 25 to 30 inland, close to freezing along the Connecticut shoreline. So on our early morning seven day forecast, uh, the breeze remains up a bit also on Wednesday. Highs only in the mid 20s. A lot of sunshine on Thursday, upper 20s after starting the day in the single digit. So we may actually get close to uh, within at least a couple of, of degrees of record cold on Thursday. Then Friday, uh, temperatures back above freezing. Then for the upcoming weekend into the 40s. Now Saturday morning, there's a chance at least as of now for some scattered areas of light snow. It's not a big storm by any means. And then on Sunday, temperatures head into the 40s. Clouds increase with a chance for some rain late Sunday. Could end as a little wintry mix early Monday of next week. And there's a look at shoreline highs. 35 by Friday, but in the lower 40s for Saturday and Sunday.